walker slash fire person slash knife thrower. He does everything. He does everything. I love this man. I love his energy. I love the way he performs. What is it that made you? What is it that grabbed you to this? To this? Um, to to what you do? Well, you you said it right in the beginning. Um, I want to be an extremist. I yeah. used to watch all you know the ex shows on TV with the guy with the bicycles and the motorcycles and. Man, that, that looks like a lot of fun, and, and, and they made me feel like a punk. So I, you know, I had to find <laughs> something that you know made me an extremist, and I got into the fire, and you know, I mean, that's extreme, not extreme. Well, I tried, and, I tried doing that bicycle thing. It didn't work. For me. <laughs> it didn't work for me either. <laughs> so I went onto the fire and right. still. <laughs> Man, all right, still in fire and knives. What a combination! What a combination! You know, I mean. I know you, you, you were telling me earlier, you were telling me before we, we've known each other for a little bit, you told me earlier that um, you took certain courses in, in acting and things like that. You know, give me some feedback as to your history, as to how it all unwind. Well, um, I always knew as a, as a kid that I was going to be in entertainment, but I had no idea what it was. So, you know, I knew it was going to be somewhere in the lungs of acting, so I went to this acting class. Uh, put on by Butch Patrick and anybody that don't know who um, Butch Patrick is he used to be Eddie Munster on the Munster That's a man. He, used have, <laughs> he used to have a low cut it, it was it was colored <laughs> and if you got a little bit of hair, but that's Eddie though that's Eddie Munster that's the man okay. Not a lot of these kids don't know who yeah yeah <laughs> you that have goes. To go back in the archives like <laughs> when things were still black and white I'll stop there <laughs> but go ahead so uh so we had this class, and I really didn't get anything out of it, but I met this wonderful woman, which is uh, my mentor still today, and um, she used to be a clown for Big Apple Circus, New York, and um, Ringling Brothers, awesome. and she saw how enthused I was to get into the business, and she said, you know, anything I can do for you, you just let me know. So I went home, you know, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, I said, I want to learn how to eat fire. Yeah, I, I think about that all the time. Uh, <laughs> I wake up in the mornings and sometimes I just... You know, fire is easy to come by. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just craving some fire. You know? <laughs> so, what's up? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, food started getting a little expensive, so... <laughs> Lighted fluid was easy to come by. There you go, there you go. go. It's so like a local hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> So I got totally lost with the question. <laughs> how you started? How you started? Oh, how she, I got started? She, she was telling you. Oh yes. Uh, so she hooked me up with some um, somebody that taught me how to eat fire. All right. And um, after that, it, it it just blew up. I mean, one thing happened after another. Started learning different things about fire and and different tricks and such. So that's pretty much how I got started. What's the thrill? That oh. grabs you. 